What's up YouTube, AZ Scratchers, and welcome to a full book reveal of the Arizona $5 low boy ticket, Arizona Adventure. Now this is a $300 book, 60 tickets in the book, and I pre-scanned the tickets, separated the winners from the losers, and we had 44 losing tickets, represented by this massive stack, and 16 winners. Don't know what the winners are, but we're going to find out shortly here. This is a rather simple ticket. It is a uh, symbol hunt. No numbers to match. No bonuses. So, basically, um, what we're doing here is looking for... Reveal an Arizona flag, win the prize. Reveal the state symbol, outline of the state with a cactus. And you get double the prize. And that's it. That's all there is to this thing. So, um, anyway, we're going to get started. So I've got the 16 here. This should go rather fast because not, we're not hunting for numbers and all that other stuff. Uh, just looking for symbols. And uh, we're going to start with... And one thing about this ticket I don't, I'm not fond of... Tighten up a little more. I'm not trying to show the barcode because I already I got that exposed, although it doesn't really matter because I've already by the time this video airs I'll have cashed these things in. So uh, basically it's not an easy to scratch ticket. And what I don't like about it, and I would never do this ticket regularly, is it's the design is really vague where the where the these little things here to almost disappear in the light background. So but anyway, enough talk. Let's just get with this, find the winners. Looking for flags, and we're looking for the state outline. And there's a flag. So there's our first flag. There's another flag, and this is ticket zero zero zero, by the way. There's all sorts of weird symbols here. There's there's snakes and hot peppers and maces and. And uh, I don't think there's anything else. No, no, that's it. Just the, just the uh, four rows. So what are we going to get on this first one? Five there. Five there for ten. I will be ringing the bell on these double ups and up. So we're starting off with a ten. Okay. No need to circle anything. Just get with it. So we got 10 on the board. Nothing on that row. Nothing there. Nothing in that row. Has to be in this row. There's a flag. None of the big $50,000 prizes have been hit. And we got five there. The odds of hitting anything north of 50 bucks on this are extremely tough. Um, to give you an idea, 157 to 1 to hit 50. A $100 prize is 933 to 1 and on up. So it gives you an idea how daunting this task is. <clears throat> An outlier would be, I would say an outlier is 50 bucks on this, 157 to 1. There's a flag. Yeah, this ticket, this ticket is miserable to scratch. I'm only doing this one because Random Red did it, did a book of these things. I think he got back 195, which is not too shabby considering the, uh, it's better than book odds, which is about half, which is 150. So, what are we getting on this flag? All right, 10 bucks. We'll total them all up at the end. Whoopsie, bang the bell by accident. All right, and by the way, um, 
I didn't tell you. Zero 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 was the first hit. Then we hit two. Zero zero two was the second one. Then it went to zero zero four. Then there was a bunch of losers, and so the next one up is zero zero eight. Oh. Okay. There's two flags. Three flags. Four flags. All right. What are we going to get on this one? Five there. Five there. Five and five for 20. 20 is uh, 40 to 1. Then we skip. We went from 8, and then there was a string of losers all the way to ticket 17. So if you had bought this, if you were just buying these out of the machine, and you bought a, like 5, 6, 7, or 8 of them in a row, and uh, you would have had nothing. That's why I don't like low boys. The only time you'll see me do low boys, and I won't do anything below a five anymore, is that I'm doing them by the book. Because that's the only way you have a, a shot at something. Nothing on the first row. Hey, we got a doubler up on the, fly, on the state symbol. First time we've seen that. So, what are we doubling? We're going to another 10. All right. Um, where'd I do my coin? Oh, there it is. All right. Here we go again. You see how the, on this ticket, it just, I just don't like the design. I'm sure every state, I know when I was in Florida years ago, they had their own version of this, this ticket. And instead of cactuses and stuff, you had palmettos and alligators and flamingos. And All right, there's a flag. There's another flag. So we got at least 10. Three flags. Four flags. This is good. All right. What do we get on this one? Five. Five more. Five more. And five for another 20. This is a messy ticket, too. It's got that thick latex coating that sticks. So... Scrape the table. Otherwise, I'm running into road bumps on this thing. All right. Back to business. Okay, that was ticket 18. And it had a back-to-back -back on that one because the next win was on 19. Nothing on that row. Nothing there. There's, a, there's the state for a doubler. we getting this time. Ooh, there is an outlier. Well, kind of an outlier. Yeah, 2020 is 40 bucks. 101 to 1 on that. So that's definitely outlier country. Hope that's not the biggest thing we find. The next one up is a 50 at 157 to 1. So that's possible. All right, 
So that was ticket date 19, and then we jump, we skip to 23. Now this ticket design, everything is a little more clear. I mean, if you were at your local convenience store and you just bought that one ticket for five bucks and got 40, that'd be a really nice hit. There's our flag. Okay, what do we got? And we're back to the five. And that was ticket uh, 23, and then there was a bunch of losers, and then the next one up is ticket 30. Nothing in that row. There's our flag. All right, and we got the five. Move it on. That was ticket number 30, and 31 was also a hit, so there was a back to back on that one. And by the way, these various designs this, for instance, is Camelback Mountain, which is up near Phoenix. There's a flag. Another flag. Nothing there. Two flags. Five there. And five there for ten. All right, that was ticket 31. And there were some losers, and the next hit was on 36. And this ticket is Pachaco Peak, which is north of Tucson. If you were to drive from, say, Tucson to Phoenix, this would be the big mountain on your left. Very distinctive. Also, historically, an interesting uh, bit of history. It's the site of the westernmost battle of the Civil War. Some of you out there probably didn't know that the Civil War extended into Arizona. And it did, because Arizona back then was Confederate territory, for the most part. Very le loosely held territory, but it was held until the Battle of Pachaco Peak. There's a flag, and there endeth your history lesson. One flag, what do we got? Five bucks. And that was on ticket 36. And the next win was on ticket 39, which is coming right up. Also a Pachaco Peak. And there's a flag. I do not believe it is possible to manual win all on this. It doesn't say that at the bottom, so I'm assuming it's not happening. Alrighty, and under this flag is another five bucks. And that was ticket 39. Next win was on next, back to back on ticket number 40. Another Camelback Mountain ticket. Nope. Nothing on those two rows. There's a flag.
and one flag. And it's five. And that was on ticket 40. Then there were some more losers. And then we jumped to ticket 45. Okay, a doubler up. Not too many of those on this in this book so far. I'd like to see if it's possible to get two of those in one ticket. Or a flag mix in with it, possible. Alright, what are we doubling up? Five for ten. Next ticket up was ticket number 50, and uh, this is the other one, Monument Valley. You can see it there. Way up in northeastern Arizona. Navajo country. Alrighty, here we go. Hey, another double up. And a flag, so it is possible to get a mix. All right. All right, let's see what we're doubling. Five for 10, and another 10 for 20, okay. Again, that was 40 to one odds. We're running out of tickets here, so the more the merrier at this point. All right, next ticket up, that was uh, 50, and the last ticket, <laughs> is 53. Oh. And a double up on the end. Basically, when you're doing tickets with this sort of ridiculous odds these have, the only shot, remote shot you have at this is if you do them in quantity. Alrighty. Here we go. Doubling up uh, five for ten. Alright. Let's see how this book did. So there's ten. And there's ten. And twenty makes thirty. 10 more makes 40, 5, 45, 5 more for 50, 55, 10 for 65, 5 for 70, 5 more for 75, 20 more makes 95, 40 more makes 135, 10 more makes 145, 20 more makes 165, 10 more makes 175, 5 makes 180, and 10 makes 190. Not too far from Random's number. I think he got 195. He might have got 190. I don't know, Random. You watch this. You let me know what you got. Well, that's what I was, well, I was hoping for more, but you know... I'm willing to accept the loss on this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, appreciate the like button, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And we will be back again soon with something else. AZ Scratchers signing off. Have a great day and a great night. And we'll see you later. Bye.